What? Installation tool required? Oh sh! It's Friday afternoon and my client arrives in three hours to pick up the fresh painted bike and I have to mount the fork and all these parts and I don't have the installation tool. Do you know the situation? Yes, that's a common issue. You like to ride your bike at the weekend in the bike park and you don't have these specific tools to get the mounting job done. Yes. I'm in a hurry, my client arrives in three hours, so I have to find a fast solution for my issue. And I have an idea. What if I print my own bike tools with a 3D printer? I produce my own tools to get this job done. That's what we are doing in the video. We check out if these tools are suitable to mount the bike, if they are cheaper, if they are faster, and if 3D printing can solve the problem with these specific bike tools. I did a bit of research about the dust seal installation tool and came to the conclusion that the price is around about $39 and the minimum delivery time 3 days. That's the benchmark I have to beat. Challenge accepted. Let's do our own. I opened Fusion 360 on my laptop, a CAD software which is free for private use to create a 3D model of my dust seal installation tool. I made a sketch in Fusion and started with simple shapes like a rectangle and a circle. The next step, I revolved this shape around the center point of the rectangle to create the first shape of my dust seal installation tool. I did another sketch. It seems a bit difficult, but only for beginners it's not really that difficult. In the next step, I did another extrusion of the circle in the sketch downwards to create a shell. Here you can see the shell. Then I did another sketch of a circle and I did another extrusion upwards. I created another sketch with a circle. I extruded this circle as well. Now I have the last shape of my dust seal installation tool. Next steps are only optional. What I did is a bore in the middle to make this part lightweight. Also another extrusion for these cutoffs. These are necessary. It's easy to remove the dust seal when you have these cutoffs. I have two of them here and here and I wanted also the 38 on my dust seal installation tool like the original one. I created another sketch with the 38. I did an emboss of the 38 on my tool. That's nearly everything I had to do. It's not that difficult even for a beginner. I could do it during lunchtime, during half an hour and I guess a pro can do it in maybe 5 to 10 minutes. So it's an easy job, it doesn't take that much time. What I also need of course is a 3D printer. In my search for a suitable printer I came across the AnchorMake website. AnchorMake offers a 3D printer for people who don't want to tinker with devices but are looking for a ready to print solution. The AnchorMake M5 is incredibly fast with 500mm per second print speed, offers AI supported print monitoring via camera and AnchorMake offers also the AnchorMake slicer and app to monitor the printing process. The assembly is very simple. The M5 comes with a great toolkit and well illustrated instruction manual. All you have to do is to connect the platform to the C-axis. The packaging foam can be used as a support for the C-axis which makes it very simple. Then connect the USB cables for the stepper motors, the camera and the monitor. The filament holder can be mounted in two positions on the C-axis. After 10 minutes the printer is ready for use. I connected the printer to the Anchor Make app and slashed the test file the Benji boat on my laptop with the Anchor Make slicer in fast mode at 500mm per second. The complete print time for the Benji is only 28 minutes and 49 seconds which is very fast for this file. I loaded the file to the printer and started printing. The good thing is that I don't have to wait at the printer until the print is done, but in the meantime I can go for a walk with my dog Sasha while checking everything via the Anchor Make app on my phone. The Anchor Make AI monitors the print and compares each layer for errors with images from the camera. If errors occur in the print, such as the spaghetti error, the app sends me a message and I can check via the live view whether the print is faulty or whether the printer should continue printing. I run the first print attempt despite the errors. As you can see, the Benchy has a little spaghetti mess as indicated by the AI. I therefore changed the print temperature a little and printed the second Benchy. It's not the most perfect, but for 500mm per second print speed it turned out very well. This gave me the confidence to print my bike tool. 
I loaded the fusion file into the actor make slicer and changed only one value for the bottom layer. As it's a round shape, I changed the first print layer from lines to concentric to get a better and more stable result. I started the print and in the meantime spent some quality time with my dog Sasha on the forest while monitoring the print on my phone. Sasha is grateful for every free minute I don't have to be in the shop but can chase sticks and fool around with him. And here it is, my printed bike tour. It printed super fast in 1 hour and 49 minutes. Visually it's not the best, you can see the set seam on the back, but for a functional part it looks very good. And here it is, my self-made dust seal installation tool printed with super fast Anchor Make M5. But there's one important question we have to answer. Can this tool resist a mallet and do the job? So let's hit it hard. Yeah, seems resistant against my mallet. Are printed with the PLA Plus filament which came with the printer. That's a typical filament in 3D printing. It's cheap but mostly used for prototyping. It's not the strongest filament on earth but as it seems it's resistant against my mallet and good for these tools. So let's mount the fork and then let's talk about the pricing. And now the most important of all questions, does it make sense to print your own bike tools or is it better to buy the original tool at the bike shop? Let's compare. Regarding the time, the original part will be delivered in three days at the earliest, which doesn't work for me because I have only a time span of three hours. The total time required to produce the printed part is two hours and 29 minutes. 10 minutes for setting up the printer, Around about 30 minutes for the data creation if I do it as an amateur and 1 hour and 49 minutes printing time. Let's talk about the costs. The original part costs around about $39. The cost for the printed part is divided into $1.94 for the filament and $0.12 cents for the energy needed during printing. The total cost is $2.06. But that's not quite right. We also have to take into account the purchase price of the printer. So let's double the price and say the printed part costs around about $4.12. I go with the self-made tool of course because I'm a bit nerdy and I'm absolutely into this tech stuff like 3D printing and I have much more crazy ideas in mind like printing my own grips, maybe my own bike saddle and it would be absolutely cool to see you 3D printing your own tools and bike gadgets as well. I hope you learned a bit. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.